It's time to dive into deeper intimacy. And this short 15 minute tap will help you get there. It will help you prepare. It will help you dive deeper within yourself so that you can be more deeply connected to the world around you and the people around you. So if you've just tuned into the intimacy interview, this will be a perfect combination. Or if you just wanna try this video out, Perhaps you have a date coming up or you have something special that you really want to be prepared for. Give this short tap a go. Okay, so to start with, let's just massage underneath the collarbone and tune into where you want to bring more intimacy. Who do you want to bring more intimacy to? Is it a person? Is it a situation? You see, intimacy can relate to a social setting, perhaps you're going to a party, perhaps you're going to a dinner, or you're going to an interview for work, or perhaps it has to do with a romantic relationship or someone you're just dating, someone new. So whatever the situation is, intimacy can always help us grow, it can help us connect, and ultimately it can bring more success to us. So tune into the area that you want to bring more intimacy to. And I want you to feel any struggle that you've been having. Perhaps it's shutting yourself off. Perhaps it's feeling fear around approaching. Perhaps it's nervousness. I want you to tune into anything that's blocking you from being fully present with the situation or the person you're seeking to have intimacy with. And then lean into what that feels like in your body. Where is it living in your body? Because as we shut ourselves off or as we create all of those blocks, often at times the energy centers, which you'll learn a lot about in Tantra, also get blocked as well. And so where in your body does it feel blocked? Does it feel heavy? Does it feel sharp or prickly? And these textures often represent what we're feeling in relationship to that intimacy too. So feel it in your body, feel any uncomfortability that's there, and then repeating after me, even though I'm feeling scared about intimacy here. Tapping the center of the chest, I'm open to loving and accepting myself. Tapping between the brows, part of me is afraid of truly connecting. Tapping the temples, part of me doesn't think I'm good enough. Tapping the cheeks, I'm in a lot of doubt right now. I'm really scared about intimacy with the name, what it is that you're scared of or who it is. Tapping underneath the nose and that's totally understandable. And what are you afraid of happening? Because usually when we block down our intimacy, we're doing it because we're trying to protect ourselves from what we fear might happen. So what are you afraid of happening? I'm afraid of, and just say whatever it is you're afraid of. Them laughing at you, them rejecting you. What is it that you're afraid of? I'm afraid of, and name it out loud. I am afraid of, say it again, tapping underneath the lips. Tapping the center of the chest, and that's totally understandable. I'm afraid of that. Tapping the front of the ribs, I'm open to forgiving myself for being so afraid here. Tapping the side of the ribs, it's possible I'm still a good human being. It's possible I'm still worthy of love. Tapping the side of the wrist, even though I'm afraid of, and name what it is. And I want you to feel what emotion comes up. What do you feel? Is it scared? Is it sadness? Is it resistance? What's some of those core emotions that arise when you block intimacy? This block makes me feel, and just say the top three emotions that come out of you. 
tapping the side of the thumb. This block makes me feel, and say it again. Tapping the next finger. I feel really uncomfortable here. And if this uncomfortable thing had a, had a physical expression, had a texture, what would it be? Would it be hard? Would it be oozing or festering or prickly? What would the texture be if it was in your body? It feels like, and just name what the texture is. Tapping the next finger. And where is that texture in your body? It's in my, just name where it is. Tapping the opposite side of the next finger. And that's uncomfortable. Tapping the little finger. And I don't know what to do with it. Tapping the side of the hand. Part of me is afraid it will be there forever. It's been there a long time. And when does it show up for you? What is a situation that occurs when this is most triggered? Is it when you have to look into someone's eyes? Is it when you have to open your heart? When you have to communicate about your needs? What's the situation that actually makes it triggered? All of those prickly, heavy, hard, scared feelings. The situation that triggers it is, and just name what it is out loud. Tapping the top of the head. And that makes me feel, what does it make you feel when that's triggered? Let's just be real with it. I accept that I feel this way. Tapping between the brows. I accept that I feel, and just name what that feeling is right there. Tapping the temples, even though I wish I didn't feel this way. Tapping the cheeks. I'm accepting that I feel this way. And it's really uncomfortable. So just feel it, just accept that it's there. The way we heal it in tapping is we don't wish it away, we don't tell it that it's wrong, we actually just feel it and accept it fully. The more we can accept our struggle with intimacy, the more we can accept the fight against it or the shutdown around it, the more it actually moves through our system and opens up and then we become present. So just tune into any struggle towards it just let yourself feel what it feels like and just accept it deeply like this is what it is and then take a big deep breath release a big sigh <sighs> tapping underneath the nose I accept that I've been feeling and just name what it is Tapping underneath the lips. I've been feeling and just name what it is. When what happens and describe what the situation is. And part of me doesn't know how to let this go. Part of me wants to feel more connected. Tapping the center of the chest. Part of me wants to feel received seen, loved, held. Part of me really wants to feel what? Name what it is that you really want to feel. Part of me wants to feel, just name what it is. Tapping the front of the ribs and I've been wanting to feel this a long time. And I'm done with waiting. Tapping the side of the ribs. It's possible all these games aren't helping me get what? So just tune into whatever game you've been playing, trying to get it and recognize that that game isn't working, is it? So what is your game? Do you push someone away? Do you pretend that it doesn't matter? Do you hold yourself back? Do you get defensive? Do you shrink and hide? What is your game that you play? I have been, and just name what you've been doing. 
tapping the side of the wrist and that doesn't make me feel more love. Tapping the side of the thumb, that doesn't create more love. That doesn't create more connection. Tapping the middle finger and what I really want is connection. I want to feel love deeply in my being. I want to be seen. And this habit isn't helping. Tapping the opposite side of the next finger. It's possible if I let go of the habit and name what the habit is, I'll be able to create the intimacy I truly deserve. Tapping the little finger, even though it's scary. Tapping the side of the hand and part of me is afraid of rejection. It's possible that these habits are creating more rejection. It's possible my habits are pushing people away. And I really want to be connected. Tapping the top of the head. I'm open to letting go of this habit. Just to see. To see if I can find more depth and love. To see if I can have more bliss. I'm open to letting go of, and just name what that habit is that you've been carrying around, that you've been using you've been using to try to protect yourself but it's actually creating more of what you don't want. I'm open to letting go of and just name what it is. Tapping underneath the nose even just for a moment. I can always come back to this habit if it doesn't work out on the other side. Tapping the center of the chest. I can always come back to doing what? If it doesn't work on the other side. Okay, so now you have the option, right? So we get to let it go just for a moment and see what it feels like. You wanna do that with me? So tapping the, the front of the ribs here and just tune into any final grasping of that habit, any kind of like, I'm not gonna let that go, I need that, that's protecting me. Tune into any remaining grasping of that habit and the fear to let go of that habit in case you don't get what you want. Tune into that grasping right now, all of that holding, all of that protecting, all of that justifying, all those excuses, all of that. Tune into it right now, feel what it feels like to grasp onto that. Really grasp into it, feel that I'm not letting it go, not right now, it's not safe. And then intensify how uncomfortable that grasping feels in your body by 50%. Intensify, really feel the uncomfortability of it, lean into it, get on the edge of it, intensify it by 75%. And now intensify it by 100%. Really go there, really get uncomfortable. And then take a big, deep breath, release a big sigh. <sighs> Tapping the side of the ribs. I'm ready to feel more free. I'm ready to feel more open. I'm ready to feel more love. It's possible I can trust this love in my being. Tapping the middle finger. It's possible love will guide me. Tapping the side of the next finger. I can trust my love right now. I can trust who I am right now. And my love is worthy in this world. I am worthy. I'm worthy of love. Tapping the little finger. I'm worthy of connection. 
I deserve love, depth and connection here. And I'm ready to choose it because I'm worthy of it. Tune into any final resistance that you have towards fully choosing it right now and then take a big deep breath and release a big sigh. Ah, beautiful. And then tap all over your body and say out loud what it is that you're choosing for yourself, what you're worthy of, what you're ready to receive, what you know you can have because you are worthy. And I want to hear 10 affirmations out loud as you tap all over your body and say it all out loud. I'm worthy of, I'm creating, I deserve. Keep saying them, really tune into them. Beautiful. Just a few more. Awesome. And then take a big deep breath in. Feel your whole being up with all of that goodness that you are ready. Hold your breath, bring your hands to your heart, feel all of the love in your heart ready to expand to the world and then bring your hands out and then exhale, sending it out to the world. <sighs> Inhale, bring your hands to your chest again, fill up the chest, bring the blades back towards each other, expand the heart. Hold the breath, really open up the heart, drop those shoulder blades down and towards each other, feel the heart expanding and then exhale, send it out. <sighs> Once more, inhale. Hold the breath, feel all the goodness that you are receiving, this intimacy now. Oh, and how good it feels and then expand it out. <sighs> just taking a moment just to rest see your life see the relationships that you're involved in see them feeling blessed by this intimacy see how you get to show up see who you get to be now that you know that you are truly worthy see your life unfolding as this as you Take another deep breath in and then exhale slowly. Thank you so much for joining me in this short intimacy tap. If you had any revelations or realizations in this tap about how you want to show up in the world or what you're ready to really claim as what you deserve, write them down in your journal and then remember to reflect on them before you go to bed tonight as we continue to allow that reprogramming in our brain to set in while we sleep. And I look forward to hearing from you. Remember to comment on this video and let me know what you discovered and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.